Hi, this is Jay from Express Screen. Uh, today we're taking a look at how we can take a two color and by using half tones we can turn it into a, a one color. Um, let me pull you a little closer to the image. Alright, so what I've got on the screen here um, was a two color. Uh, it was actually orange in the background or yellow. And I decided I wanted to print it with one color. So what I've done is put a grayscale in. And in this instance, I put in a 20% grayscale. Uh, when you put in a grayscale, it's always going to print darker than you think. Um, and the darker the ink, even further darker it will print when, it when you go to pull a squeegee across it. Uh, two things at play here. One, you've got dot gain. It's going to make the dot bigger. I'll explain a little more in a minute. And uh, in the darkness of the ink. So now that I've got this artwork up, I'm just going to click on File, Print, go into my Preferences, Image, Screen Covered, 60 Lines Print. So I'm going to set a half tone here for it. OK, Apply, Print. And while that's printing, I'll go over a few more things with you. So the uh, the half tone uh, that I chose, or the grayscale that I chose, is about 20%. Um, if you can picture printing a uh, a dot, let's say that dot is 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 an inch around. Uh, when you go to burn the screen, it's going to be an inch around. But when you push ink through it. It's going to be 1.2, 1.3 inches because you're mashing the ink through the screen. So you need to take that in consideration how you can control your dot gain. Now some software will control it for you. In in this case right here, I just choose a, uh, a lighter shade or a lighter grayscale than I, what I want it to, uh, than what I what I think it, or I imagine it's going to be when I get done. Um, so if you with uh, Medium colored inks, say a Carolina blue, uh, when you go to print that, if it's a 50% half tone, it's probably going to print like a 75 80% half tone. Uh, darker inks, you're going to print even deeper than that. So you got to keep those things in mind when you're creating a half tone. Uh, the nice thing about the QS or any of our QS NGP products is that when you are uh, burning that half tone, that you can set those halftone lines. There's a mild rip built on board of each one of the machines, the, the GoPro 100, QS 200, QS 2536, that allows you to take that that halftone image, a grayscale image, and to be able to output it into halftones. Uh, the uh, you can use a PDF, uh, or uh, in this instance, this is just a vector file that I have. Uh, you can use a JPEG as well. Uh, so there's a lot of flexibility. Uh, being able to choose your halftone print. So, screen's just about done. I'm going to move this over to right here because I'm getting ready to pull it off and mark my halftone, uh, my, uh, my registration mark. So, screen's off and burn. I use registration marks even on single color. It speeds me up when I get over to the press. So hold up, I'll be over to the press in just a second. All right, so I got the screen over to the press. We'll go ahead and line it up. I've already drawn a line down the center of my, my platen. Uh, we use double-sided sticky tape here. It's, uh, it's a whole lot easier to use. There's no aerosols floating around and getting all over your equipment. Always, always do a test print. And with my test print, I can see how far up my image is and how far I need to drop my shirt if, if I don't have a central location for it. So. Using Plastisol uh, Union 
Royal Blue Plastisol ink. This is an Ultra Soft series. I like printing with it. Right, let's see what we got here. Alright, so not look too bad at all. And I am Now I can either drop my plans or I can drop my shirt. Here I would rather just drop my shirt. So I'm four inches. I want to go two inches off the bottom of the collar. So I'm going to pull the top of the collar one knuckle away from the top edge of the plaid. Again, you can go through. It's just I, I don't take the time to readjust all my plaids. I think it takes less time just to move your shirt. Uh, that's not a problem unless. Uh, your collar gets in the way. There's what the final print looks like. Okay. So, pull a few shirts up. And before I forget, Always a, not a question if, it's a question of when it'll happen. You gotta take your registration marks up. Pardon me, I'm about a mile from the dryer. 